In this tutorial, I will go over creating a new firm. So what you want to do first is click on Entities and select Firms. In the Firms function, when you want to create a new one, click on the New button at the top right. And this is your new firm window. So right here you can see the only real required field is the firm name. So you can always put the firm name in and if you're setting it up quickly, you can save it and come back in later on and actually set the data. But let's go ahead and set up a firm. So we can do it with the firm name, give it an address. And we'll go down to the zip code. And you can hit the look up zip code button here. That way we can bypass inputting the city and state. Uh, different billing address we will not use. We'll keep it all the same. You can enter your phone numbers. Remember, all this can be done at a later time. You don't have to fill it all right now. And you can see this is general information in the first section. If you go down to the additional information, some of the important fields that you may want to keep track of is whether or not you want to print detail on their invoices. That way the system will always do so. If they do like a consolidated statement, if they are a COD client, and you can choose whether you want late charge or finance charge, um, set their payment terms, and maybe a specific due day is for this particular client. Now every firm has a job due end days to be turned in, and that's if you have specific clients that have a specific need. But if everyone's to follow suit and follow basically the same number of days, then that will be set up in your business units. You have a section here for calendar notes. If for anything particular about how this client has needs for their particular jobs. You can have those notes show up on the uh, worksheet that goes to the assigned resource. You also have production and billing notes. So if they have any particulars about the way they like production done or their billing, you can enter these notes here and these will show up on items like the production sheet. So your production department can see them when they're creating their package. You'll have some marketing options here, including setting up a client or sales rep. Going down, you have the collections area, but that will be reserved for future use because you're setting someone up new so there is no collections at this time. So once you've filled in that data, go ahead and click save and then save and close and you're good to go.